Hello everyone, welcome back. Got some new things to show you today. Lots to show, lots to talk about. Gonna try and keep it short. So, I mentioned that this camp needed an iron farm and that I would do one designed by Waddles. I was correct in that. The design that I'm using is made by Waddles, which is a prominent YouTuber in the Minecraft community. And I have to say I'm pretty pleased with the results of this farm. So you can disregard the little walkway I have floating around in the air. That's just so I can show you the farm a little bit better. But you can see that the iron golems spawn on top inside of this water flow and then get pushed down into that lava there where I have a collection system set up to get the iron. And <clears throat> it's a pretty simple design. That's one of the reasons I like it so much. And it works. I didn't have to do anything to fix it. The only things that I had to fix were the things that I changed, mostly for cosmetic reasons. Um, his design uses a bit more glass than mine does, but uh, I think this looks pretty cool. And uh, you may recall that there used to be a tree here, a old dead kind of hollow tree. I grew it all the way up to here to be part of the collection system and it created some problems. And then while I was trying to fix those problems, I mishandled some lava at one point and the tree burned down. It was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> I tried to put out the fire, but it spread too fast. And in the end, uh, the tree was no more. There was almost nothing left. I just picked up the tiny little bits and pieces that were left and <laughs> said, okay, the tree burned down. Um, so you can see that uh, they, they drop down here. And one of my cosmetic changes that I made to the farm is I put these shroom lights and crimson nether bricks on the bottom to kind of give it some magical reason to be floating up in the air. Um, we're just going to imagine that those shroom light blocks, which glow, it's not dark, so it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, those crimson shroom light blocks, which glow, are providing some kind of magical lift. And the crimson nether bricks around it just look better than the regular nether bricks. Kind of makes it look like it's a bit of magic magical technology or something that's holding it up in the air where I would like it to be. So those iron golems drop down here and they collect the iron or the the hoppers that are here inside of this brick wall. Collect that iron, feed it into this chest, and it's producing about 270-ish, maybe a touch more iron ingots per hour. And that's very good for a farm so small. And it doesn't have any complicated anything in it. The only disadvantage, if you can call it such, is that it does require nine hoppers to get going, rather than one like the other iron farm, which I usually build at the beginning of a new game. I had plenty of iron in this camp that I'd mined by hand, so that was not an issue. We'll see in the future which one I decide to build in a brand new camp. But here we are. We have a the start of a new lava farm, and I need to go find dripstone and pointed dripstone to complete that project. And there's one other thing I've been working on that I'd like to show you. <clears throat> I did some exploring because I was looking for that dripstone. And one of the places it spawns is in big underground caves. It's basically the, the place that it spawns, but there is a biome called a uh, dripstone cave biome. Now that, oops, I went a little too far, didn't I? Didn't I? I did. Okay. Um, let's see if I remember the right way to go. While I was exploring, I found something interesting. I thought I'd show it to you. Something that I spent some time working on. Been long enough since I've been there now that I've forgotten where it is. <laughs> or at least I went the wrong way 
Um, <clears throat> but we're almost there. Got a little staircase here. Something's coming up. Something interesting. Something I think I've shown once before, but here it is. An amethyst, an amethyst geode. This one has been all mined, I will call it, or crafted to be collectible. So in case you haven't seen the other videos, these amethyst blocks that have these X's on them will grow amethyst crystals and you can harvest those crystals and they'll grow back. But you can't bring these blocks that grow these crystals back to your camp, not even with Silk Touch. Though you can bring these other amethyst crystal blocks with you, you can't bring the ones that grow the crystals. So what I've done is I've laid everything out and I've lit it up brightly with torches to make it real easy to see when the crystals have grown. And I've made some walkways to get to the stuff that's hanging above the, the head when you first enter the geode. So here it is. Pretty cool looking, I think. And it was fun to work with this. This is the first time I've gone through and made sure that I dug out every block from around the blocks that grow the crystals because those blocks will grow crystals on each of their six faces. And this way I can get the most crystal per trip. So I don't have to come down here so often I can get even more stuff. I've already got a fair amount of amethyst crystal in the camp, so I'm just going to let those crystals keep growing until they're all grown. But I wanted to show you that. So that's about all I've got for you today. I'm going to cut the video there, but I'm going to mention real quick, on the theme of exploration, there's a new update coming in about a week, and there's going to be tons of new overworld content it's going to be a big deal for the overworld, just like the 1.17 and the 1.18 updates have been. Am I going the wrong way again? I am, aren't I? Um, <clears throat> there's going to be a new mangrove swamp biome, and there's going to be a deep biome that uh, is full of incredibly dangerous, well, a and incredibly dangerous mob. Um, <clears throat> there's just going to be a lot to see, uh, lots to explore. I'm thinking about starting a new long play series, kind of like the Caves Core introduction videos that I've been doing for a while now and just started up again. I'm thinking about starting a game where I make uh, my objective exploration rather than base building. That could be fun. Hopefully it'll be fun to watch. Let me know what you think about that, uh, especially in the videos that I will be making for it. But that's all for today. We'll see you again soon. Maybe we'll be packed up for adventure. Have a great day. See you later.